welcome to the uh, annual business leadership conference uh, organized by School of Business at St. Martin University. So uh, I'm so happy to see everybody here. In the early morning, you guys are future business leaders. So uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, uh, I am uh, uh, Dr. Lee, uh, the Dean of School of Business uh, at St. Martin University. So when we, uh, when I talk to people, say, why start a business? People say, oh, start a business is about making money, generating profit. I say, yes, in addition to that, the most important thing for business is to create value for the society. When business leaders, when people have ideas, how can we take that wonderful idea, go through the business process into a product or service that benefit everybody. That's how we create value through business profit like marketing, entrepreneurship, operation management, strategic management, finance, and accounting that enable a wonderful idea into a great product or service. So decades ago, the industry economy, we built things. And then the information economy we exchange information, we use information to create value. Now, we are in the knowledge economy with artificial intelligence, machine learning, all kinds of wonderful things. But the most important thing for a leader is critical thinking, communication, teamwork, and the leadership. That's why you are here. You guys are future business leaders. Let me introduce um, our president, um, Dr. Bill Brunsberg, and he's going to uh, make, welcome everybody uh, to this wonderful university under his leadership and guidance. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? Everybody's all right? It's early in the morning, so uh, I thank you all for getting on the bus coming out uh, to St. Martin's University so early in the morning. That shows your commitment to being future business leaders in our community. So I want to uh, welcome you heartily to our campus. Um, I'd like to begin with a word of thanks uh, to uh, our friends at Twin Star and Stedman Properties for helping underwrite this event. They've been great friends of St. Martin's University. Uh, the coffee juice, bagels, um, my favorite apple fritters that you're eating right now are uh, provided by their generosity and they've really done a lot to make this an affordable day for you all. So could we give them a round of applause? <laughs> So I'd just like to give you um, maybe two thoughts that you can um, bring into your day today. Um, first of all, this is your campus today. I know you're coming from different high schools around our region and you say, oh gosh, maybe I've been to St. Martin's University in the past, maybe I haven't. I'm not really sure what this looks like, I'm not sure how it feels. Um, I, oh gosh, I'm on somebody else's property, I'm breathing somebody else's air. That's not the way that I want you to look at being on this campus today. These are your grounds, this is your place. Make yourself at home and make the most of this opportunity, right? This is organized um, by uh, DECA. You have fantastic resources in um, that organization for future business leadership opportunities. Um, you have a crack staff here in the School of Business. Um, Dr. Lee, our Dean of the School of Business, um, the professors that you're gonna interact with today all day long, these are top shelf folks. So really, don't hesitate to ask them anything on your mind. Um, don't hesitate to say, gosh, I was wondering about this thing, I was thinking through this problem, I'm concerned about this issue. Um, you don't have a stupid question. You don't have a question that's not worth asking. I want you to feel at home on our campus, but also at home with the people who brought you here and brought you here with a purpose to give you something today, right? To, to fuel your imagination for future business leadership uh, opportunities. 
um, really to um, awaken your imagination and to motivate you to succeed as business leaders in our community. They are here for you, okay? Um, the second thing that I would say is, is this. Um, you are all here, and that's impressive. Uh, it's impressive because it's so early in the morning. It's impressive because you're leaving other obligations behind. Um, you are a self-selecting group. What I mean to say is that you are the, the go-getters. You're getting after it, okay? And this is a great opportunity for you to meet and interact with each other. Um, years ago, people used to talk a lot about networking, okay? And networking, it sounds kind of instrumental. I'm just um, kind of getting this person's business card so that I can use this person in the future. And it's kind of transactional. But I'd like you to think today about expanding your social capital, okay? Your social capital means not instrumentalizing other people, but getting to know other people as friends. Again, you're from different high schools around our region, um, and you are among the best and the brightest in this room. Take this opportunity to connect with somebody from another institution, another high school. Get to know that person, because the business connections that you form begin already today, okay? You, if you play your cards right, you are gonna assemble around you a coterie of friends, of associates, of colleagues, people that you can rely on. You say, gosh, I need to do something um, with developing this um, commercial real estate space, blah, 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 and I don't know that much about that, but guess what? I have this friend who I connected with at a DECA conference years ago, and I'm gonna call her and just see what she knows or if she can put me a little ahead. And so it's all about those cooperations that are not, again, based on instrumentalizing each other or using each other. It's based on social capital. You really want to get to know each other because guess what? You're from different high schools, but you're here this morning. You're here focused on business and innovation. You have a lot in common with each other, okay? So use today to cultivate that social capital. Again, we're here for you all day. Thank you so much for making the commitment to come to St. Martin's and enjoy yourselves. Thank you, uh, President Blossford, for a wonderful uh, re welcome remark. Now I introduce our Provost, uh, Vice President of uh, Academy Affairs, uh, Dr. Tanya uh, smith Boyce. Oh. Good morning. Okay, we're gonna have to try this a little different. I noticed how y'all did that with uh, President Brownsburger. Y'all act like y'all are still asleep. But you can't be asleep, so let's do this again. Good morning. Good morning. All right, wonderful. That's a little bit better. Are y'all excited about being here? Good, good, good. So you, as you heard from President Brownsburger, um, this is your space. But I wanna even make it even more plain than that. Why are you in this space? Well. Part of it is learning about what business education and why you want to go into the business world. But another motivation that we have is we want to show you why you want to come to St. Martin's University um, to pursue your business degree or any other degree that you choose to um, pursue. And why would you want to come to St. Martin's? Well, St. Martin's is a little different. We're not just looking and hoping that you'll get a degree and helping you to go get a degree so you can go out and get a job and move out of your parents' home and get out of their, out of their pocketbooks and, uh, and, and make some money. But we're really concerned about the whole you, holistically. What does it mean to be a contributing member of society? And some of the ways that we do that, we have four themes that you've seen in the flags around um, the campus. First, you'll see the word faith. Regardless of what your higher power is, there is something that you believe in that motivates you to get up and to do, um, go through your day and have hope for your future. So faith is one of our major tenets. 
But you also have to have some reason with that, which means that you gotta understand why you believe what you believe, why you do what you do, why you could do more. What's the theory behind some things? Having some reason. And we're hoping that the combination of that faith and that reason inspires you to engage in service. Service around your school, even right now, engaging in service because that's how you know who your community is. That's how you know what the needs of your community is. That's how you are able to engage in that fourth tenet, which is community. So faith, service, re faith, reason, service, and community are the four tenets that make us a little different here at St. Martin's because we really do believe that it is important that you understand all of that. As you know, St. Martin's is um, a Benedictine Catholic University. Um, and what does that mean? That means that we believe in the whole you. What you'll see that's unique on this campus that I really love to see is that we have, um, we are here by invitation and as partners with the Abbey. The St. Martin's Abbey is, I hope you guys get to see um, the church and the location that's up on top of that hill. Um, but there's an order of monks. So you'll, hopefully you'll be able to see some of our brothers walking around with their black um, robes on. Don't, don't, don't be shocked by that, but they are the most amazing group of people. But they have dedicated their lives to ensure that you are able to get a quality, holistic education here at St. Martin's University. So those are the things that make us very unique. I want to tell you about a little trip that I just came back from that I'm hoping is another piece that uh, might be a, a, a nugget for you. I just came back from China. I went to China for, I have no idea how many days because I missed a day going and gained an extra day coming back. It was the strangest thing with the time. Changes, but I think I was there about 10 days, I'm, I'm not sure. But I met with our 10 partners that we have, partner universities that we have there in China. And as I met with the president and provost at each of those universities, the one thing that they said is, we want your students to come here and study with us. And we want our students to come to St. Martin's to study with you. We want our faculty members to come to you and we want your faculty members to come to us. There are so many opportunities for you as a student here in St. Martin's to be able to see the world, to expand your horizons. The faculty here in the, business, in the School of Business um, are global leaders. They teach courses all over the world, including in China. So there's some opportunities to really begin to uh, see what community looks like, that it is not just that geographic area that you live in presently, but the community could be the entire globe. So I want to encourage you to think about that as you think about what university you want to go to, and I'm hoping that St. Martin's is on the top of that list. I want to end with um, a prayer for peace. That's another piece that I think is important as we, um, as you think about what you want to do with your life, one of the things, regardless of what you decide, what your major is, what career you decide, is that peace is something that is very, uh, no, I'm not going to say that. We can have people make us believe that peace is a rare um, concept, but it's not. But that is one of the um, values that I think is very important for you to uphold, regardless of what you do in life. So I want to start with this prayer, and if you know this prayer, please say it along with me. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there's hatred, let me sow love. Where there's injury, pardon. Where there's doubt, faith. Where there's despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Thank you so very much for being here on our campus.
Thank you, Dr. Smith Weiss. Uh, next, uh, we will invite uh, Michael Stevens, uh, Lacey City Country, uh, uh, Lacey City Councilman, and also uh, School Business Advisory Board member, uh, Michael Stevens. All right, Madam Provost, uh, Dr. Lee, hard, hard act to follow. But I just wanted to come up here for one moment and tell you, all, all you students, potentially students here at the university,